Hello, all you aficionados, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Uh, this week, I know it looks like the same thing, different week, same place, but I'm um, going to make a few differences to my usual uh, filming here. First off, uh, as usual, I got some more uh, mosquito larvae here that I got out of the uh, tadpole tub, and I'm going to hold them in there for a little while. I'm going to show you a nice little thing I do. It's probably common sense, but that way it keeps them in water, keeps them fresh. They don't go anywhere. Obviously, they're not going to go run away or anything, but um, make sure that they're all, make sure they're all towards the bottom there. And uh, to prove how hot it is today, the temperature says it's 92. Uh, humidity is way up there. Um, the uh, uh, mosquito larvae are even trying to go get in the shade in the tadpole tub. There's some more mosquito larvae right there. Um, it's so hot, it's even too hot for the uh, uh, mosquito larvae in the sun. However, my fish are in the shade, and the water temperature isn't that bad. I'd say it's probably mid to high 70s right now. So, but still, I'm going to do a water change, and this time, one difference between, the, between this one and the previous videos, I'm going to actually take out some water, uh, put that in my garden watering can once I get that. So I'll probably cut the filming here pretty soon to go do that so you don't see a bunch of jostling around any more than usual. But um, yeah, that's what I'll be doing next. But oh, a, a small change I made. Um, I was getting a lot of uh, uh, mosquito larvae in my buckets here, so I decided to split up some of the guppies and put them into the different ones that had the larvae. So that way it was basically like an all-you-can-eat uh, buffet of larvae and give the larger tubs a chance to get some uh, more uh, larvae in them. Uh, this bucket over here I put some fry in to split them up and get them to grow some more. Let's get this bug out right here. Come on bug. Dead bug. Um, but yeah, get uh, that and there was some Little larvae in here, some um, unidentified uh, larvae in this in this bucket right here. Um, the uh, fancy fin female and her fry, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, I moved them over to here to give them some more uh, mosquito larvae that were swimming around in here. Um, let's see here, what else? Um, this is the bucket that they were in, I think. Yeah, this is the one that they were in. And I found some more fry from her, and they are definitely fancy fins, so I moved them over to the fry tub. I'll see if I can get them in an actual video later on, maybe for Fry Friday, and get some uh, some footage of them and see if you can tell the difference between their finage and then the normal finage, because there is a slight difference. So, all right, I'm gonna go over and get the watering can right now and go get it from the cooler. Um, uh, rain barrel and uh, that's what I'll be doing next. So, so. Alright, so I got the watering can here and it has a little bit of water in it but this is really hot from sitting on the sun so we're going to dump it out because that's, that water is no good. Sorry for the really boring shot there. Wouldn't pay attention to the camera. But uh, next we'll just be um, taking some old water out. Let's take some out of the bachelor pad here. And then the difficult part is getting water without getting guppies because as we all know guppies are not the smartest fish and they will swim right into the net right into the jug here um, and got a plant when we get out of there yeah this water is it's probably a little bit warmer than what you'd want to go swimming in so that means it's about the high 70s probably so I'll dump this into the watering can and this has some nice fish waste. This water has some nice fish waste in it, which will then go to watering my plants, which I'll be showing that next. Uh, because um, I'm going to show you the difference between my uh, plants I have going this summer. Pretty cool accidental experiment that I had going. One was on purpose, one is uh, accidental. You know, so I'll, I'll be showing you that. That'll be next. I've been watching a lot of videos recently on. Uh, I think it's called Back to Eden uh, Gardening. It's a pretty cool concept, and 
my garden uh, accidental garden uh, experiment are kind of pretty good um, evidence to uh, support the back to Eden uh, garden practice uh, so yeah you'll be seeing that next so that'll be I mean, I, I just think it's pretty cool to see that I did this really by accident and yet it's still uh, 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 supporting I think his name is Paul still uh, supporting Paul's theory so all right next I'll be watering the plants we'll be seeing the support for Paul's uh, back to Eden uh, hypothesis and uh, experiment right, so first first bit of evidence I and mean, this looks really sad these are some uh, uh, tomato plants I started in my seed starter my seed starting tub that I built out of uh, repurposed upcycled whatever you call it um, wood pallets and they are very wilted because they are in just bare soil straight soil uh, compost from my um, my shaded section of compost and a little bit of water will help to bring them back uh, every time they need water like every two days or else they get like this now the next plants I'm going to show you I really only water about once maybe twice a week I probably don't even have to I haven't even taken to the fullest extent I don't want to show you what they like. Now keep in mind, these need to be watered every two days or else they start wilting. What I'm about to show you, I water them about once a week and they're fine. So you would think that they would look worse, but just, just watch. So now we have the filling from the, wow, much cooler um, rain barrel. This water is probably, probably below 70s, I would say. This water would actually be uh, refreshing to uh, swim in. And I know my temperatures by, by touch, not just from fish keeping our experience, but also from, um, I was a lifeguard at a daycare for, for five summers. And um, every day, twice a day, actually, I think, I would check the temperature in the pool. I started to associate the feeling of the temperature, the feeling of the pool with the temperature of the pool. And, and I knew that, hey, upper 60s, kids were going to be freezing cold, wouldn't like it. Lower 70s would be fine, a little bit chilly. But the gross part was, and here's the gross part, is that about late July, early August, because it was a three-foot pool all the way across, really awesome uh, day care center I used to work at that they put in a pool like that. Um, late, late July, early August, it's hot. It was not shaded because you know, there weren't any trees in the area, so... Uh, the water temperature got up to 98 degrees. Well, what other bodily fluid do we know of that's 98 degrees? Yeah, felt kind of gross. There's some uh, green beans I planted and I water these um, about once every other week and they are on their way out now actually, but they're still doing fine. This is also kind of uh, loosely based on back to Eden accidentally. This is also my cardboard planter. I'll put a link to that video right here as well so now i'm gonna go fill this up add this to this is just never plant anything and go fill uh fill up the guppy bucket. all right so we're back to the uh, guppy buckets and i'm going to just top off the ones that i took water from uh this water falling in here increases the uh, dissolved oxygen level so that's a good thing also cools the water which cooler water can hold more oxygen so there's a little bit of science for you today. Um, guppies seem to be thinking that they're getting fed, of course, because the guppies may think they're always getting fed. Stuck my dog back there. Um, so grab a new grip here. And it'll probably be the end of my filming for right now. I will probably be back out here later on today for some more footage. All right, so sorry about that last little bit. Um, I'm not sure how much it actually uh, recorded because for the first time that I've ever had this phone, uh, the phone stopped working because it was overheated. It was that hot today. But anyways, as promised, I said I would show you the way that I have my uh, tomatoes set up, which by the way, I'm pruning them. That's why they're looking so sad on the bottom here because those bottom parts below the flowering, below the part that's gonna have flowers, anything below the first flower, 
is not going to produce so I just prune them off because they um, are not going to be any good so I cut those off so that the plant doesn't put energy into growing those instead it puts energy into making uh, tomatoes. But anyways here is what the uh, rig looks like. I, just, you know, I have some uh, PVC attached to the pole right here. My dog's in the background stretching. Uh, we just played fetch a little bit like five times so it was too hot after that. Anyways, uh, the PVC is attached to the fence with just some twine or whatever, and it goes up there. I have a hole drilled at the top right there that goes from one end to the other right there. And then coming down off of them um, is a line that goes down to the stake in the ground at the tomato plant. Then I just wrap the tomato plant around the line as it goes up. And that's basically it. Um, one thing I did learn from the first row into the second row, uh, just from experience, was to tie a little bit extra down to the end with a little kind of a slip knot thing going on so that as the uh, tomato plant grows um, heavier I can give it some more slack and it, it will it will not uh, pull on the plant stem as much so that's one thing I did. Also I want to show you um, afterwards after I watered the uh, tomato plants that they are doing just fine. There's my flower bed once again. This, this is where I'll end the video because it's been long enough of me going on about gardening and not even a water change. Well, I did do a water change, but this is the uh, same uh, tomato plant as earlier today. Also, these are the uh, cucumber plants. It was planted at the same time as the ones in my other garden, and they are probably, I'd say, about three quarters, and that's being generous, the size of the ones in my uh, garden with the leaf litter down instead. And these, the plants are looking pretty sad earlier today. They're not looking that much better, but at least they aren't wilted. So. If you found anything on here informative, enjoyable, entertaining, whatever, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. But tell me in the comments below what you did not, did not like about it. If you have any questions or comments or requests for future videos, a lot of comments do become future videos. So keep that in mind, so comment below. If you've not already done so, please subscribe. Turn on notifications in case I do any pop-up live streams. I did one last Wednesday randomly for like 10 minutes. Um, and so yeah, just turn on the notification and click that bell below. Um, if you could do me a favor and share my channel or share this video with your friends on social media, that would be really great. I definitely um, um, appreciate that. And um, yeah, if you could comment below with, if you came here for the uh, gardening stuff or the fish stuff, just comment garden or fish below, or both if you uh, enjoyed both. Just let me know like what kind of, what brought you to this video. Um, so yeah, thank you for checking it out. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a great rest of your water change Wednesday. Keep it fishy, people.